Math is hard, but Bun Bun and Zeus fear no math. In a meadow filled with fluffy dandelions lived Bun Bun, a curious little rabbit with fur as white as snow. Bun Bun loved hopping through the tall grass, chasing butterflies and nibbling on juicy carrots. But one day, a big blue book landed with a plop right in front of her. It had colorful shapes and squiggly lines that made Bun Bun scrunch up her nose. What's that, Bun Bun? Piped up Zeus, a playful beagle puppy with floppy ears who lived next door. It's a math book, Bun Bun mumbled, poking it with her nose. Everyone at school is talking about it, but it looks super hard. Zeus tilted his head. Hard? Like trying to catch a butterfly with your nose? Bun Bun giggled. Maybe even harder. Wait, Starry Fairy Godmother is coming. Starry Fairy Godmother would like to announce that Starry Night Bedtime Stories is now on Facebook. Now little listeners can follow us on Facebook to tell me about what you think of our video. But don't stop there. Starry Fairy Godmother would like to know what you've learned from the video too. Comment now. Follow us now, little listener. Link is in the description. Feeling curious, Bun Bun opened the book. There were numbers bouncing around, some big, some small and plus and minus signs that looked like upside down smiles and frowns. Bun Bun tried to add them together, but her ears drooped. The numbers just wouldn't make sense. Feeling defeated, Bun Bun tossed the book aside. I can't do it, Zeus. Math is too hard. Zeus trotted over and nudged the book with his wet nose. Maybe you just need a little help, Bun Bun. Remember when you were learning how to skip rope? You kept tripping on the string, but you kept trying, and now you're a hopping champion. Bun Bun smiled. She remembered how frustrating it was to keep getting tangled in the rope, but with practice, she could now skip for ages without missing a beat. You're right, Zeus. Bun Bun picked up the book again. Maybe math is like learning a new trick. It might be hard at first, but if I keep trying, I'll get it. Zeus barked happily. Exactly. And who knows? Maybe math can be fun too. So... Bun Bun and Zeus sat down together. Zeus helped Bun Bun count the fluffy tails of the rabbits hopping by, and Bun Bun helped Zeus count the number of times he barked at a passing butterfly. Slowly but surely, the numbers started to make sense. Bun Bun learned that adding things together meant putting them all together, and subtracting meant taking some away. By the time the sun began to set, painting the sky with streaks of orange and pink, Bun Bun wasn't a math master, but she wasn't scared of the book anymore. She understood a little bit more, and that made her feel happy and proud. See, Bun Bun? Zeus wagged his tail. You did it. You tried again, and now math isn't so scary anymore. Bun Bun nuzzled Zeus gratefully. Thanks, Zeus. You're the best friend a rabbit could ask for. From that day on, whenever Bun Bun saw something new or challenging, she remembered Zeus's words. It might be hard at first, but with a little effort and a good friend by her side, she knew she could try anything. After all, even the trickiest problems 
just like the most tangled jump rope, could be solved with a little patience and a whole lot of trying. So remember, little listeners, if you ever come across something difficult, don't give up. It's okay to feel frustrated, but it's important to keep trying. Sometimes, all it takes is a little help from a friend and a positive attitude to turn something hard into something fun. Now, snuggle up under the covers, dream of exciting new things to learn, and remember, trying again is always the bravest thing you can do. Remember to subscribe and share.